This is another archival upload of some of my previous mix critique videos. I apologize for the vertical format that this video is about to switch to. This is 196 to 200. This was sent in by Benjamin. All right, so the synth in the very beginning, there was too much sub compared to everything else. And when the drums and everything kick in, it sounds a little bit better, but for the most part, it sounds like your mids are lacking. It sounds like you have all low end and all high end here. It doesn't sound like you actually have much filling out the mid range. So it sounds kind of empty. That's the biggest thing. Like all the source tones sound like they're probably fine. I mean, it's clearly all virtual instruments. So like, it's kind of hard to fuck up a synth sound. You're missing a lot between like four or 500 Hertz all the way up to like 4K. Okay, I don't normally do this in mix critiques, but like, I gotta show you guys what's going on here. So if you look at the general EQ curve of this song, it's like you have a whole lot of low end here and then it just drops off. And don't get me wrong, it's supposed to slope down a little bit, but like this is way lower than it needs to be. This whole midsection here has been scooped way too much. So I'm just gonna add this EQ, like a ridiculously wide, like solid EQ band and just watch the difference this makes in this track. This is going from probably about 300 hertz all the way up to 5k is what this band is currently covering. Like all of a sudden you can hear the track. This was sent in by Lux. So many people you can choose to love. All right, that guitar tone sounds super, super thin already. Dude, everything sounds really thin. It sounds like you gutted the mid-range and everything but the vocals. Like, the vocals still sound pretty much okay. How the hell did I get you to like me? Your okay, I take that back. I don't think it's really a lack of the mid range overall. I think it's more a lack of the low mids and the low end entirely. Like just the way the EQ sounds on this right now, it sounds like everything 900 and above sounds way too high and it sounds like everything else is non-existent. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. Like the vocals are way too far above everything else. That's definitely throwing off the perception of how much low end actually exists in everything else. Like, but from what I can hear right now, it just sounds like you cut like all of the low end out of everything, which leads me to believe that you're mixing in a room that the only acoustic treatment is acoustic foam. Acoustic foam is pretty much useless. Like even if you're getting really thick acoustic foam, it's not dense enough to actually absorb sound. All it really does is absorb really high end frequencies. It does nothing for your low end. So if you have a room that's treated with foam, it's gonna sound to you like there's a lot more low end in your room than there actually is. So you're gonna turn that all down down way more than you need to. Get better treatment in your room and you will get a better mix. This was sent in by Jeffrey. As far back as I can remember, I've been living here on this dark island. Okay, that voiceover is way too loud compared to the music. You are also boosting like all those really harsh upper mid frequencies. Like that hurts to listen to. Why it was my fate, destined to be here forever. Dude, it's all painful high mids. Like the mid range is gutted. You maybe have a little bit of low end, but mostly this is just high end and it hurts. All right, you're boosting a ton of subs, which you're barely gonna be able to hear on most systems. Like, sounds like you're only boosting less than 100 hertz, probably 80 and below is like way too much. Your low mids don't exist. Like most of your mid range doesn't exist. Like everywhere from like 150 to like six, 700 hertz is basically non-existent. Then you have one to 3K boosted like crazy. Like, dude, this is the most painful mix I've heard in a while. All I can say is don't cut your mid range don't cut your low mids, don't boost your high mids so much, and don't boost your sub lows. Like, you're clearly not listening on something that you can hear those subs, because if you were, you wouldn't have boosted them as much as you did. Like, you're probably listening on some really cheap speakers, you're boosting the wrong frequencies. You need to learn where things actually live in the frequency spectrum. So set them by Matthew. <laughs> Thank you.
First thing I was hearing is in that intro, you clearly filtered the drums for an effect. You filtered them too much. You left us just the high mids. It's gotta be a little wider. It just sounds a little too thin. And then when everything actually kicks in and that filter kicks off, your drum EQ overall just doesn't sound great. Your snare especially is missing a lot of that low end fullness that it needs. I don't know, man, it sounds, it just sounds weird, it sounds off. It's kind of hard to describe what I'm hearing. If I had to guess, I would say that you used EQ in a lot of places where you should have just adjusted the fader volume instead. Like for example, I hear a lot of low end in the bass, but I don't hear the bass filling out the mid range at all, which is a big part of what the bass is supposed to do in a track. Sounds like in a lot of places you're like, oh, I need more bass. And rather than just raise the entire bass, you boosted the low end. Oh, I need less guitar. And instead of bringing the guitar down, you EQ'd out certain frequencies. Like you've done a lot of unnecessary EQ when you could have just adjusted the fader level. You definitely need to spend less time with EQs and a lot more time balancing faders. This was sent in by James. All right, the synth in the intro sounded great and then everything kicked in and the guitars have this awful honky mid-range. They're also out of tune. The kick also sounds like a cardboard box. There's very little low end and there's a lot of nasty mid-range in the kick. The bass is like not filling out the mids the way that it needs to. It sounds like you cut a lot of the mids out of the bass to make room for the guitars, which is not what you wanna do. The bass, especially in this kind of a genre, the bass is supposed to blend in with the guitars. The bass is like a huge part of the overall guitar tone when it comes to metal. Oh yeah, it's the thrill of the action. I think also in general, the guitars are just way too loud because the drums are kind of drowned out. The vocals are definitely drowned out. Like, yeah, man, so turn your guitars down a bit. Make sure you're tuning your guitars before every single take. Like there's no excuse for an out of tune guitar. The bass, you're like gutting the mid range in the bass to make room for the guitars. You need to not do that. The bass needs to blend in with the guitar and you need to EQ your drums better. Like I said, that kick especially just sounds flat and like box and just awful. Honestly, man, I feel like this is a large step backwards from the last mix you sent me. 